And now we come to multiplying with cross number puzzles. These are very similar to word puzzles, right? A cross word puzzle. Only we'll be using numbers instead. We'll start with your example number 63. In this cross number puzzle, number 63, notice that you have multiplication going across. 6 times 10, for example, our very first row. Well, what is the product of 6 times 10? This box here should clearly have the number 60. Going across the next row, we have 2 times 4, and we know the product of those two numbers would give us 8. Now we're going to go down. Right? Just like with the crossword puzzle, we go across and we also have to find the words going down. Here we're working with numbers, so we're also going to find the products going down. In this next box, we should have the product of 6 and 2. 6 times 2 would give us 12. And then over to the next row, 10 times 4, the product of these two numbers would give us 40. Now to round things out, Remember, what we have going across and going down, these things should match. Now that we've done our multiplication, we need to check using addition and subtraction in our next steps. Well, going down 60 minus 8 should be 52. And if we look across the products we had from before, 12 and 40, it tells us we should add those. 12 plus 40 is 52. So here's a way that we're checking to make sure we did our multiplication properly. Because the sum of 12 and 40, 52, should also be the difference between 60 and 8. 60 minus 8 is 52. Checks all around. We've definitely done this one correctly. Treat the other ones very carefully and don't forget to check. That final box in the bottom right-hand corner has got to match going across and down.